Hey guys, I've had the Polaroid 600 for a few years now, ever since I got it for free at a garage sale, but I've only been able to shoot with it a few times because the film is so expensive. So today, I thought I'd try the cheaper Instax Mini. Let's get to it. Starting off with the price of film. Fuji's Instax film is way cheaper than Polaroid 600 film, coming in at about 50 cents per shot versus $2.40 per shot. The camera itself is built out of plastic, but it has enough heft that it doesn't feel too cheap. It feels like it could take a fair bit of abuse. The film comes in these shiny foil bags here, and it goes into the back of the camera. But I've got a pack loaded at the moment, so I don't want to open the door, or it will ruin what's loaded in the camera. There's a small window near the door latch that will show an orange square if there's film loaded and the counter on the back shows how many shots you've got left. To power on the camera, just press the button next to the lens. That lens is a 60mm fixed focus lens that will have everything between 2 feet and infinity in focus. The only thing you really have to adjust is the aperture. For the camera nerds out there, the house is f12.7, the cloud is f16, the small sun is f22, the big sun is f32, and high key is two-thirds of a stop over f12.7. As soon as you take a picture, it will print out the top, although developing will take about five minutes. Despite popular opinion, shaking the picture does absolutely nothing to help it develop. Many of my first pictures with this camera came out dark because it needs a lot of light or your subject needs to be within the 6 to 10 foot flash range. When you get the exposure just right though, the shots turn out quite nice with a fair amount of detail. They also don't suffer from the same issues at the top and bottom like the Polaroid 600 film does. To turn the camera off, just push the lens back in. My biggest complaint is that you can't turn off the flash, but you can always block it. Just be careful not to block the light meter next to it. Overall, I really like the camera. You can take some very impressive images, the film is comparatively quite affordable, and having an instant print is undeniably cool. The Instax Mini gets a big thumbs up from me. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Feel free to leave me a comment letting me know what you thought. Don't forget to hit that like button and consider subscribing if you want to see what I make next. I'll see you next time.